Okay, the next div exercise is flags. We're going to play around with divs to basically create a flag of the Netherlands by changing the different div section colors. Okay, so we are going to follow these steps and we're going to start by giving it the page title Netherlands flag, create four divs. We're going to give the first div a class of header, put the text flag of Netherlands in the first div and the second, third, and fourth divs will be the red, white, and blue rectangles. We're going to write our style rules in the style CSS, and our rectangles are going to be 800 by 150 with a background color of light sky blue. Okay, so this is going to be the result. I know it's kind of hard to see here, but basically it's just the flag, and we're going to create it entirely out of divs. Okay, so let's get started by putting in the style sheet file. I'm going to do that first. So we'll create the style.css. We'll go back and use that later when we write our style rules. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and give the page a title. Remember titles go in the head of your document and this is what you see in the tab of your web page. So it's important to have descriptive titles. Netherlands flag. We're going to create four divs in the body. We can replace this placeholder text with our first div. Okay, since I'm going to need four of these, let me just create those now. Okay. All right, and we are going to... Excuse the sirens, guys. We are going to give the first div the class of header. Okay, and we're going to type in flag of the Netherlands. Okay, the second div is going to have the class of red and rectangle. You can have multiple words here, so I'm just going to put it together. Red rectangle. We're going to have the class of white rectangle next and blue is last okay remember these are going to just be filled with colors so we don't need to put any text inside of it it's just going to be blank okay all right now we're going to go over to the css and work on our style rules that are going to bring this flag to life okay so first rule that we want to create are for the classes red white and blue to make their background colors match. Okay, so for the red class, we want a background color of red. Okay, for the blue class, we want a background color of blue. And for the white class, don't forget that dot, we want the color of white. Okay, so that takes care of the colors. Now let's adjust the size of our rectangle so we have equal size rectangles. Okay, so that is going to be the dot rectangle class and the width is 800 pixels. The height is 150 pixels. And then finally, your body is going to have a beautiful background color of light sky blue. Oh, no. Sorry. I lied. It's the header class. <laughs> okay, the header class is going to have the background color of light sky blue. All right. Let's run that and take a look. I think we got all of our rules in there. And we should see the Netherlands flag. Okay, let's open this up in a new window so we can take a look. This is not what we should be having. Let's take a look and see what I missed. Okay. Um, we got the red to show up. Let's take a look at the white and blue. Okay, so it looks like I'm missing my quotes here. Okay, that's important. Don't forget that sometimes messes up the web browser. Let's run it and see if blue will show up now. Okay, that looks better. All right. 
sometimes you just got to debug if something looks wrong and just go by line by line and and then see what might be missing. Okay, what tipped me off uh, to the quote was, um, it's just a little darker. I know it might be hard to tell on your screen, but these colors kind of help us out with the coding. So pay attention to colors when they change or if they're not consistent. That's usually a hint that something's off there. Okay, so again, your final result is flag of Netherlands. The main idea here, again, was that we use divs. Remember, these are just div containers. So imagine that you wanted to create a web page with three different sections, okay? You could have a red section, a white section, a blue section, and then the red section could have paragraphs or images or whatever you want to put in there. So essentially, divs are a nice way, are a nice way to break up a page and kind of just section off different um, content and just give them a little bit more visual interest to your page and your layouts, okay? Nice work on the flag exercise. Any questions, leave it in a comment. Nice job, everyone. Thank you.